Hi everyone, thanks again for joining me today for another unboxing video. Today we are unboxing Teotihuacan City of Gods. Oh, I hope I said that right. Uh, that was my best attempt, but uh, very excited to see this game as well. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Uh, again, you've got front cover right there. Let's turn it around. Very heavy box, I will say. And uh, there's the back of the game. Another great game with Dice Tower Seal of Excellence. Um, which is uh, something that's not given out to, to every day and uh, part of the reason why I'm so excited to uh, finally get this game. Uh, again, games up here to get them up in the north is uh, not always easy and or are often on back order, so it takes a little while. Uh, this game is made by uh, Daniel Tashini and um, is published by uh, Board and Dice. Um, so let's have a look again. Cover. Nothing else on the cover. Let's toss that away. And let's see what else is inside. So, these are tiles. Now these, I'm assuming it's to make the pyramids. And at first glance it looks like wood, but these are actually, I believe, plastic. Oh, no, it's... Hmm. Oh, well, it is maybe a wood composite of some kind. Uh, very nice though, very high quality, looks great, goes with the theme. Now, I'm not going to look at all of these pieces, but uh, you can hear them, that the quality is quite good. This will look great on the table, tabletop presence is always important to me. It's great to have a game, but the theme and how it looks always adds to the flavor and the excitement of playing the game, especially when you're trying to um, get new uh, players to uh, to get involved. So again, lots of these files. That's it in that one. And let's see what else. Tokens. These are our wood. Let's see what else is here. Let's just dump that and get rid of the bag here. Uh, again, these are all wood pieces, but we've got a set of tokens, good old gray cubes, larger than uh, oftentimes what a typical game would have, uh, more of the little discs, again, more tokens, these ones are brown. Um, bag full of those. I'm not going to crack them open. Actually, there's two bags of those, uh, which is nice. Again, made out of wood. Those ones are not plastic. Again, markers, I'm assuming, for the game. Uh, you're looking at what look like Monopoly houses, but uh, much, much bigger than the standard set, so, which is cool. And these are, again, more discs. These ones are just black instead. And more discs. These ones are yellow. Whoops, had it just fall onto the side there. Whole bunch of dice, which is nice. Lots of baggies, so which is always nice because that means for the board punch outs you got spaces to because uh, there's no dividers in the box, so this makes it up easier for uh, setup and stuff. Uh, good old silica gel packs. Don't need those. Let's take a quick peek at the instruction manual. Oh, very nice. This is just great. Looks very clear. Again, easy to read. Um, just from a visual standpoint, showing examples. Uh, people should utilize this, or game designers should utilize this as a uh, benchmark, at least in visual appeal. Ease of following with your eyes, player setup, rules of play, going through the player turns giving providing examples, uh, which is good, especially for a medium or higher weight game. This is always makes it easy. A little bit of extra text there. So it might have been better to put in a few extra examples or uh, change the layout so that the examples would have been with the actual page. Decorations, eclipsing in game end, some variant rules, changes that you can do in the setup, and uh, general notes, uh, again, some variances that you can do for the game. Other changes, 
appendix, which is always nice, discovery, and uh, starting tiles, temple bonus tiles, all of that fun stuff. Great to see. Um, see that uh, clarity in the user uh, manual rules of play. Punch boards. Let's go down a bit, sorry about that. Looks like bamboo signs. Again, very, at least trying to take advantage of the theme. And these will punch out very easily. I can already tell just by holding them. They're almost falling out. I'm doing everything for them not to fall apart as I do this. Very nice. More of the punch outs. And again, thick cardboard, um, which again goes to the quality and that table presence just helps the game last as well. So they didn't cheap out. So good production value in this regard. Which always makes it exciting. Again. Very nice. I am quite excited. And then last but not least, the board. Whoops, I have another tile there that fell through. So this is a big board. I'll toss the bottom there for a sec. See how much of this we can actually get inside the frame. Okay, so this is a six panel board. Oops. And let's just bring it up to the camera. So, very nice. That just doesn't do it justice to uh, on pictures and or video. So hopefully you guys can see all that, but that would look fantastic on the table. Looking very much to introduce this to um, our game group, gaming group that we uh, typically play on a weekly basis. Um, so again, hopefully you've enjoyed this unboxing video, again, of Teo Tihuacan City of Gods. Again, hopefully I didn't, uh, <laughs> I didn't mess up that name too much. Again, my name is Yannick Degg. Thanks for joining me on this unboxing video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please feel free to subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments what you'd like for me to unbox next time. Thanks again. Have a great one. Take care.